So um, I just wanted to get on here and say, excuse me for missing days. I actually had a video that I recorded about two days ago and I accidentally deleted the footage. Okay, it was two clips. And then I tried to like retrieve it and I was able to pull it up on the computer but I couldn't get it back to my phone. And it was just too much. So what I'm gonna do is talk about the topics briefly, like real fast. Those topics on this video that you're watching. Cause once I do a topic, once I already talked about it, I don't really like to talk about it again. So I talked about DDG in winter. He had, come to find out it was a prank, but he did a video with her. And I was like, tone it down because the clips that I had saw was flirty, flirty clips. Eventually I found out that it was a prank, but still. Um, and in this video, we're gonna talk about DJ Academics because he has some stuff to say about the breakup and all of that. And just from me personally knowing people that have been through toxic breakups when the baby is involved and I'm just like, you know, I know how the whole DDG Hallie and Baby Halo can end up if DDG is filming with other females and Hallie does not like it. You know, I know how it can end. So that's why I said tone it down. And then I had talked about um, Dub doing a sit down with TT and Aries about the whole Aaliyah, which is his girlfriend, flirting with Aries and Jay Cinco. And then also I had gave an update on Shay. Y'all remember Shay in the last video. Shay had, she was in Damo's chat saying that Aries was trying to holler at her on Snapchat. And she commented on my video and said something, but I'll, I'll insert it so y'all can read it. And I was like, um, can, oh, she said she had proof of Aries DMing her. So I asked her, can you send me the DMs? I haven't received any DMs from Shay as of late, and it's been three or four days. That all, I don't, I don't, I think that's all the topics that I talked about in that video that got deleted. Dang, that's like, look, look, how, look how much time that took. But let's get on, we're gonna get on to the new stuff. So the new stuff that I wanted to talk about is DDG and Anna. Anna Mac, DDG and Anna Mac, they just linked up and did a music video and the shade room posted it, got them looking like a couple. Her hand placement is on the knee. But good thing is the comments are not, like I thought I thought he was gonna be getting dragged in the comments, but the comments are like, no, he's single, let him do him, let him do him. He is single and been doing content with models, influencers. When Hallie pop out with a man, I don't want nobody complaining or calling her a 304. He finna be the most hated tread lightly dog. Somebody said, why they actually look cute though? They said, Anna, why? And they said, it's just a video. So, um, yeah, like, this, this could, this could end two ways. This could end two ways. Now we know, we know DDG. Of course, he's been doing music videos, right? With females twerking and all kinds of stuff in his music videos. But you only see it in the video. You don't see it, like you don't see the behind the scenes. You don't, you know, like this, he moving different now. He's actually vlogging with these girls and stuff. So, I don't know, I just, I just don't want, you know, the worst to happen. What else? Oh, CJ So Cool. CJ So Cool was trying to holler at Danny. This is insane to me. They said, <laughs> they said we want her money too. Yeah, I think CJ genuinely wants Danny. Or does he see something? Does he see something? He see them dollar signs. So Danny had posted a picture and she said, Big Mama, CJ commented, I'm still confused on why anyone would want to fumble you that anyone would be Corey. Corey fumbled Danny, according to CJ. 
The comments are saying, I feel like royalty fumbled CJ. He should have definitely dated someone on his level. Chris, CJ, and CJ, all three of them need to go heal the three C's. Chris, CJ, and CJ. Oh, Chris, Chris sells Corey, and CJ. Oh, yeah, he definitely went broke. He playing Lexi face every time. So him and, him and Lexi are done. They, they break up, get back together, break up, get back together. So I can't keep up. To be fair, CJ ain't fumbled nothing. Corey fine, though. Child, oh, my God, here we go. Listen, if Danny and CJ so cool get together, even if it's just for content, um, it's, it's probably going to be similar to Danny and Corey. It's probably going to be, oh, the dates and all of that, right? Going live and then somebody going to cross somebody and it's going to be just toxic. Okay, so back to DDG. So my concern was Hallie would get upset because he's filming with these girls. And like people in the comments are saying, oh, it's embarrassing. He's an embarrassing dude. He's embarrassing her, right? So we already seen that she's capable of getting on Twitter and tweeting something. So she, if you don't break that habit, that pattern, it's not a habit yet, but that pattern, eventually you're gonna do it again, right? He's gonna trigger you, probably concerning the child or something, and you're gonna hop on Twitter and tweet something else. Or you're gonna keep the baby away, okay? Let's not act like some females don't keep the baby away from the dad. I'm not saying Hallie is that type, because I'm not sure, but we're gonna find out. DJ Academics went on his stream, said that he's glad DDG dumped Hallie. He compared Hallie to Krishan Rock, said that she's no different. And this is, that's, that's just, we're gonna listen. Now, Hallie Bailey, you could act how you wanna act, I'm gonna be very, but you ain't different than Chris Rock and the rest of them. It's very clear. Cool. Y'all women have a child with a man and think y'all have leverage with them. Y'all don't, don't go into having kids and think that you're bonding and creating families that both have entitlement to you. You think when you have a child by a man, you have something over them. The father brought the kid that y'all both have used for content. He used it for Instagram pictures that got you millions of likes. He used the kid for TikToks. Okay, for his vlogs, his own personal But it's only when he goes on the high snack. And I guarantee you, chat, mark my phone. Wait, these young lads, you ain't with her no more. I saw this thing when he was in Miami. That boy wouldn't even take a picture with another girl. He, he was paranoid the girl would go online and say the camera was around her and say, oh, yeah, I'll be that night. And now his whole relationship is in turmoil and people on Shade Room is cooking and hating him because they think that he cheated on this woman who they claim could do no wrong. This is the first misstep she made. By the way, when he announced that he broke up with her or they broke up, she never said them. You know why? They were cooking him. No, you're corny for even addressing this dog. Why you gotta say you broke up with your girl? I gave the context, even back then. You gotta say you broke up with her, cause if he starts dog you get another bit, I gonna call him a cheater and call him a nigga who ran out on his kid and his baby mom. While his baby mom do whatever she's doing right. A woman don't go through nine months of having a child to be a single baby mama. They get resentful when they know you left them. They get resentful when they know you get to walk around and pop in and pop out with the kid and other girls actually want you more. Academics. <laughs> One thing about academics is he gonna speak his mind, okay? Y'all let me know what y'all think. Is he speaking facts or not facts? Before we end this video, this is the brush that I use for my hair. In one of these videos that I did, people was in comments like, how did you get your curls like that? So, um, I'm going to make a video about the brush and how it defines your curls and stuff, but I'm not going to drop it on this channel. I'm going to make a whole new channel and then when it's created and everything, I'll link it and then 
yeah i can do hair videos on that channel smash the like button hit that subscribe button for more